Hello students, in the previous lecture we have seen find the remaining zeros. Find the means how to find the remaining zero. So in this lecture we will see the division algorithm. In this lecture we will see the division algorithm. So let's start with the topic. Then your topic name is what? Division algorithm. Your topic name is what? Division algorithm. If P of X and G of X are any two, any two polynomials. If P of X and G of X are any two polynomials. P of X means what? Dividend. P of X means what? Dividend. And G of X means what? Divisor. And G of X means what? Divisor. With G of X is not equal to 0, then we can find the polynomials Q of X and R of X such that. We can find Q of X and R of X. Q of X means what? Question. And R of X means what? Remainder. Then, what is your division algorithm? P of X equal to G of X into Q of X plus R of X. This is your formula. This is your division algorithm. P of x equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x. P of x means what? Dividend. G of x means what? Divisor. This q of x means what? Question. And this r of x means what? Remainder. Means P of X means dividend equal to divisor into question plus remainder. Plus remainder. What is your division algorithm? P of X equal to G of X into Q of X plus R of X. Where R of X equal to 0 or degree of R of X less than degree of G of X. Where R of X is 0. Where R of X is 0 means this remainder is 0. Then our degree of R of X is less than degree of G of X. This result is known as the division algorithm for polynomials. This result is known as the division algorithm has the this result is known as the division algorithm for polynomials. So let's get started with the type 7. Then your example is on dividing on dividing x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 by a polynomial g of x the question and remainder where x minus 2 where x minus 2 and minus 2x plus 4 respectively find g of x. What is your question? On dividing x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 by a polynomial g of x by a polynomial g of x the question and remainder where x minus 2 and minus 2x plus 4 respectively find g of x. Then first you will write the given condition. Then which are the given conditions? P of x equal to x cube minus 3x square plus x plus then here, by polynomial g of x, the quotient and the remainder, 
क्वेश्चन टर्म एंड द रिमाइंडर मींस q ऑफ x इक्वल टू x minus 2 एंड r ऑफ x इक्वल टू व्हाट minus 2x plus 4 एंड g ऑफ x इक्वल टू व्हाट क्वेश्चन मार्क g ऑफ x इक्वल टू व्हाट क्वेश्चन मार्क देन फर्स्ट वी राइट द डिवीजन अल्गोरिथम देन p ऑफ x इक्वल टू g ऑफ x इनटू q ऑफ x plus r of x. Here, g of x will be fine. Then, p of x minus r of x equal to g of x into q of x. And, you will write here, p of x minus r of x divided by this q of x equal to what? g of x. This is the g of x formula. Means, put the values. Therefore, g of x. What is the value of p of x? p of x is x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2. x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2. Minus R of X. Minus R of X. R of X means what? Minus 2X plus 4. Minus this R of X. You will take here bracket because here minus sign is present. Divided by Q of X means what? X minus 2. Divided by Q of X means what? X minus 2. Then solve x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2. Here minus minus will be plus 2x. Here minus plus minus 4. Divided by x minus 2. Then this x cube is same. Minus 3x square is also same. But this plus x and plus 2x. This plus x and plus 2x is plus 3x. This 2 minus 4. This 2 minus 4. That is minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Then divide. Here you have the page. Then x cube is present here. Then first step is what? x cube divided by x equal to what? 3 minus 1 equal to what? x raised to 2. Then you will write here x raised to 2. And this x raised to 2 is multiplied by this x minus 2. That is x cube minus 2x square. That is x cube minus 2x square. Here sign will be changed that is plus is converting to minus. This minus is converting to plus. That is plus x cube minus x cube they are cancelled. And this minus 3 plus 2 that is minus x square. Minus 3 plus 2 is 1. And x square 1 x square then you will write minus x square. Then here same values are taken that is 3x minus 2. Again the second operation is minus x square divided by x. Then you will write here minus x raised to 2 minus 1. Then minus x. You will write here minus x. And this minus x will be multiplied by this x minus 2. Then we will get minus x square minus minus plus x into 2 is 2x. Then you will write here minus x square plus 2x. Then here sign will be changed. That is minus is converting to plus. This plus is converting to minus. Then minus x square plus x square is cancel. Then plus 3 minus 2 is 1. Then you will write here x. And this minus 2 will be same. And here very simple. x divided by x. That is 1. And 1. Here you will write 1. And 1 is multiplied by this x minus 2 is 
x minus 2 and here you will write x minus 2 then their sign change that is this plus is converted to minus minus is converted to plus they are cancelled then remainder is 0 then what is your g of x g of x is x square minus x plus 1 and this is your answer and this is your answer. This is called a division algorithm. This is called a division algorithm. Let's see one typical example. Then example is what? Find the value of k. Find the value of k such that the polynomial x square minus in bracket k plus 6 into x plus 2 in bracket 2k minus 1 has the sum of the zeros equal to half of their product. Then how to solve this example? First you will write here we have and then you will write here p of x equal to x square minus in bracket k plus 6 into x plus 2 into 2k minus 1. You will write here its general form is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Then a equal to what? 1. b equal to what? My, b equal to what? Minus in bracket k plus 6 and c equal to what? 2 in bracket 2k minus 1. c means what? 2 in bracket 2k minus 1. Then your example is what? Sum of the zeros. Sum of the zeros equal to half equal to half of their product of their product means sum of the zeros means what here quadratic equation is oh, sorry here quadratic polynomial is present then you will write here alpha plus beta sum of the zero means alpha plus beta equal to half of its product half means you will write here one half Product means alpha, beta. Means your equation is alpha plus beta equal to one half alpha, beta. This is your first equation. Then how can you find alpha plus beta? You will write here alpha plus beta equal to minus b divided by minus. What is the value of b? b is minus k plus 6. Divided by a means 1. This minus minus will be plus. Then you will write here k plus 6. Means alpha plus beta equal to what? k plus 6. Alpha plus beta equal to what? k plus 6. Then you will write alpha beta. What is its formula? C by. Then what is C value? C is 2 into 2k two minus 1. Divided by a value is 1. Then 2 into 2 that is 4k minus 2 into 1, 2. Divided by 1 means 4k minus 2. Then alpha beta value is 4k minus 2. Then next step is what? Put the value of, put the value of alpha plus beta and alpha beta in equation 1. Put these values. In equation 1, we get. Then, here alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta value is k plus 6 equal to, here 1 half, then you will write here 1 half. And alpha beta, alpha beta value is 4k minus 2. This 2 will be trans transfer LHS, then you will get 2 in bracket k plus 6 equal to 4k minus 2. Then 2 into k, 2k. Plus 2 into 6, 20 equal to 4k minus 2. Then here, 20, this 
minus 2 will be transfer LHS, then you will get plus 2 equal to 4K. This 2K is transferred to RHS, then minus 2K. Then 12 plus 2 is 14 equal to 2K. That is 14 divided by 2 equal to 2K. Then 2 ones are 2, 2 sevens are 14. That is what is the value of K? K is 7. K is 7.